Hello. Okay, well, it's Professor Gloomy with some, you know, I guess bad news right here again. Um, since my viewership is, you know, pretty much all males looking for boot videos and, you know, my content isn't <laughs> racy enough for the younger generation. Uh, once again, though, I find myself addressing, I think I might have talked about this in one of the earlier videos already, but uh, to reiterate kind of the premise, a lot of the design fads that come along this one's not even that new. It's just people are discovering it again now, so the buzzword is in the, the lexicon or whatever. Um, so dark academia, dark, dark, gloomy, moody, darkness. Yes. Um, this is another one of those kind of dorm trends that has bled into suburban houses, I guess. Um, part of it... The overall aesthetic, I don't necessarily have an issue with because it's just an older classic look. You'd think I'd be, you know, fully embracing it. Oh, English country house or whatever, um, you know, or brooding school library. Yeah, fine. But I live in California. Nobody's going to be fooled if I try and turn this into that. It, like, <laughs> you're in California. You don't live in a boarding school in <laughs> New England, much as you might have wanted to when you were a teenager, it didn't happen, get over it. Um, and so, uh, yeah, here I am wearing the clothes on purpose. Uh, a lot of these trends are a lot easier for young people to do because they're only decorating one room or a dorm room. They're not trying to decorate an entire house. Um, also a lot of it is dorm room, Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram or whatever, you know, kind of, they, you know, they can deck, deck the place out for a week and then change it all in another week. You know, and they got a bunch of cool pictures and <clears throat> then they can throw all the stuff away, you know, um, some, some, you know, are a little more aficionados than aff affectations but <laughs> good luck with that when you're dealing with teenagers they you know change fads like they change socks or more <laughs> i don't know what this means for you married guys <laughs> okay you know if any women stumble on this video you're entitled to watch it too and you know have your opinion but for men what this mostly means is non-functional clutter and spending money on furniture when you already thought you had perfectly good furniture. <laughs> now I am all for, you know, unity and furniture and looks and things that again, I haven't always been able to pull off because things don't fit in a room the way you think they were, or you can't find that color and <clears throat> excuse me, you don't have time to, you know, re-sand an entire thing and one of the things that happened to me is I actually had a nice desk with drawers and a typewriter. And then, of course, typewriters became pretty much obsolete. A computer is a lot easier to work with. And computer desks don't typically have any functional drawers. So when you're talking about, oh, scatter papers loosely around, you know, for a look, it's like, yeah, well, a lot of us end up with papers scattered around just because we don't have drawers to put them in anyway. Uh, the big, the big difference, uh, you know, that, you know, you want to look smart by, you know, wearing glasses and a sweater and leaving your papers lying around or decorating with old book pages, uh, you know, cause that'll make you look smarter. Again, these are the same kids in the dorm that party just as much as the frat dudes, except they just might be using, you know, substances other than alcohol more often. They're not necessarily, you know, they didn't go away to college and become geniuses overnight. Trust me. I <laughs> I went to college where I spent a lot of my time, you know, trying to maximize reading in the bathroom in between lectures while they, you know, gossip and puke in the stall next door. Uh, <laughs> and uh, 
not necessarily all academic conversation. Uh, you want to, you know, talk about, you know, gloomy academics. I mean, I've had genius friends who, you know, wake up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night because they finally figured out that calculus problem that they flunked on the midterm or whatever. <laughs> it's not, uh, I don't have to make these things up. Um, yeah, I mean, typewriters are pretty old hat for, you know, actually working. Or I would have just kept that one that I had, you know, all throughout high school. Um, I was watching a specific video, and I'm not going to name names, but this, um, unlike the, I had read a, an article about the, the cottage core or whatever previously, and I didn't read my comments from that art, article, but this time I'm going to address this video a little more head on just because it gets into more specific design things than just me spouting off my personal philosophy. Um, although, obviously, these are my opinions. I'm not really into mirrors or candles. Uh, another problem is, you know, non-literary <laughs> housewives pretty much already bought up all the nice old books to decorate with. So we can't decorate with them or even read them now, as I may have mentioned in the previous post, you know, when Cottage Core is a collect books kind of style too. Um, wall colors, yeah. Uh, I don't really need super dark wall colors to prove that I can read or went to school, but I grew up with dark wood paneling and I didn't really crave that look ever again as a, you know, as a child. I, I In the 90s, there was a trend though. It was like one dark wall in a, in a tone color with the rest of the room. So you'd have like a lighter green and then a dark green for like, you know, that visual pop. I, I think that would work. I never really got around to doing that. I don't know personally now if I'd even want a shade of green that dark, or maybe I'd like it better if it was like a nautical seacoast stormy blue gray or something. Um, uh, here in California, you know, we don't really have that many, you know, foggy nights and moody cool days for this to look like an Atlantic seacoast house or an Atlantic prep school. Uh, you know, we have cold days and not a cloud in the sky sometimes. Um, when I was young, though, my uh, my mom was very not adventurous when it came to decorating. Her two big things have always kind of been, what will the neighbors think? And to a lesser degree, resale value. And she, she, she always had an aversion to dark walls because they would be harder to paint over with, you know, less coats if you just have eggshell everywhere. Uh, help solve that problem you know there's something to that but of course the eggshell is still going to show a lot more dirt presumably than a, than a darker color depending on you know if you have kids running around or whatever um the uh yeah the, you know but the, like i said the true genius he's you know he's less premeditated he has you know the disheveled hair uh, as opposed to like, you know, the ones who, you know, make the holes in their $200 jeans in the specific place, you know, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Um, accent wall air. You talked about this. Uh, the, yeah, I mean, you can't fool me. Like I said, I, I saw dead poet society in the theaters. None of these kids did. <laughs> um, <laughs> If you weren't born yet, you don't know. Um, globes and chess sets, yes. I, uh, I mean, yeah, those those are impressive, right? Um, I do, I do have a couple globes still. I had a nicer one for a while, and I kind of swapped it out with a friend. Um, but uh, chess sets, decorating with chess sets, yeah. I never had a good chess set growing up. I had a cheap plastic one. Uh, with the cardboard board so it wasn't really for display because we actually used to try and play it um i never became a student of the masters although my friend jorge wanted to form a chess club in school and we couldn't find a sponsor from the faculty and so that fell apart and uh, my friend my friend's mom actually had a really nice chess set that her husband brought back from japan when he was in the army and she actually used to let us little 10 year old rodents play on the thing for some reason so I learned the basics of chess on a really nice Japanese chess set. I, I don't know that it was, I doubt that it was ivory, but it might have been. Um, but it had pull out 
drawers under the board so you could store the pieces underneath and uh nice marbled textures and you know all that kind of thing um yeah like i said uh if i had a yeah if i had a second room in another room for a second office where i did no work and had a desk with the rolling top and the drawers and everything i, I think i could call that a study um, but then I, uh, I liked the look of some of these chairs, but a wooden chair just for me after more than 20 or 30 minutes, isn't going to work. It's, I need some kind of cushiony leather thing. <laughs> um, yes. If you tried to decorate in my bathroom, you would faint or die of, uh, heart failure. Uh, you try and fit a desk in there, maybe under the sink or in the tub. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see fireplaces we're not allowed to have real fireplaces anymore seems like is the new trend so there's a trend that I would yeah rather do away with I grew up with fireplaces with real bricks and I do mention that um, she talks about making a speakeasy in one little alcove or whatever I don't know exactly what's alco uh, excuse me al academic about a speakeasy unless you're you know F. Scott Fitzgerald on a bender. <laughs> Here's where I so drunky I puke on your favorite book, lovey. That's not quite the right accent. Uh, let's see if I can do a bit. See, uh, oh, old cat, old chap. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I keep going English. I'm nearly as drunk as Fitzy, but Hemi will have to catch up for once. The old cad. Yeah, just reading here. Um, let me talk about you know, Tolkien for five minutes. Why can't I pull off the Atlantic accent right now? Or I think it was called Mid-Atlantic. It was a fake accent that Hollywood made up. Yes. Oh. Good good day, old man. That's more Gomez Adams. Um black furniture. I don't think I've ever seen black furniture. I don't know if this is an IKEA thing. I've like not been in there in over a decade. I have no idea what they have. I thought they were just Lego projects masquerading as furniture. Um, yeah. Uh, then she talks about the brass look and she calls it gold at first and then says brass. I do have some brass knickknacks lying around, but I was going to give them away to a design enthusiast. Um, then then we switch in the video to from dark academia which is the actual academia to a light academia which to me just looks like a regular house uh not so much like the english library from a murder mystery movie she's asking is this actually cottage core maybe now um <laughs> you know before it was the scooby-doo mystery house and now it's the prairie if anyone on the prairie had disposable income in an ashley holmes good store nearby <laughs> uh i'm sure i would get this you know just expelled from her design school from just arguing um <laughs> uh, like i said yes the um Yeah, the, the dark academia stuff, like I said, you, you're trying to make your house look like, you know, an English murder mystery movie, um, varying degrees of success, uh, depending on probably how much money you have to spend, <laughs> you know, how much you can do structurally apart from just ornamentation, I guess is the point I'm trying to make. Uh, so without sounding too much like a jerk. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if women like this just drive their husband crazy. Honey, you've got cottage core in my dark macadamia, you know. Uh, just try to keep it <laughs> grounded in. I mean, the, the basic premise of dark academia is pretentious, so you can't really get around it. You know, either you grew up in a, you know, <laughs> tweed and wood or you didn't, you know, and if you're trying to turn into that, it has to be organic, I guess, is the, is the way I'm going for it. It can't just look slapped together like, I just saw this cool video and I've decided to turn my whole life upside down, you know, 
a little moderation or contemplation. Like I said, so in a sense, I am saying that some of it should be premeditated, but it should be premeditated in, you know, more of a house way than a dorm room way. Does that make sense? I guess that's probably a long enough video for this. Thank you.